Modularity has negatives and positives, and we have engineered out the negatives. So we have a 20% safety factor on every single component inside this inverter. Is this just fully indoor and outdoor rated? It's indoor and outdoor rated. And of course, everything is now made in the US for domestic content. Can I install it as quickly as a giant monolithic battery? And the short answer is yes, because of all the elegant design we have included into it. The smarter way to go solar. Hi everyone, Joe Ordia here for Solar Surge. And today we're coming back to you from RE+, the big international solar conference here in Las Vegas. This afternoon, I'm joined by Cameron Stewart from Solar Edge. We're looking at the brand new Solar Edge Nexus platform. So Cameron, uh, good to see you. Nice to see you. Thank you for taking time to chat with us. Thanks for coming to the booth and showing off the new product. So this is the Solar Edge Nexus solution, and it is basically four components. We have moved to a single SKU concept where it's just one inverter. Now we have one battery, we have the Nexus link, and we have the connector. But our focus for this product rests on three pillars, installability, reliability, and flexibility. So where do we go from there? What are the, well, how do we address those three pillars? So let's focus on flexibility. We went with a modular stack, all right? So okay. each battery block, Nexus battery block, is five kilowatt hours. You can stack four battery blocks per Nexus link. All right, so the Nexus link is what defines the battery. So the Nexus link, is this like your battery yeah. management system? Exactly. So, yes. Or you call it something else? No, 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 it is a BMS, you're right. I call it the BMS of BMSs. Okay. <laughs> so the battery management system of all the battery management systems. The reason I say that is that modularity has negatives and positives, and we have engineered out the negatives. How we did that is every battery block has its own BMS. So that's what's controlling the charge and discharge. But because the Nexus Link is managing all of the BMSs, now we can add new batteries to the stack without risking the state of health for the entire stack. So we can okay. exercise one battery more than another if it has a higher state of health. So the batteries are connected internally, these are connected in parallel then? Yes, absolutely. So like I said, everyone's a five kilowatt hour battery bank. They each capable of 3.5 kilowatts AC output, or sorry, DC output, and they're all connected through an internal quick connector. So just the act of stacking one battery on the next, you're making your electrical connection and your mechanical connections. So it really does click together a lot like Lego does. Uh, the benefit there, again, we can get 20 kilowatt hours by the time you have four battery blocks, and then you can get uh, 14 kilowatts DC. So the inverter is capable of 13 kilowatts AC output and 14.5 kilowatts when in backup mode. You said 14.5 output yes. when in backup mode. When in backup okay. mode. Okay. Well, that's great. And I think also consistent with the trend that we're seeing here in the, the, the industry is just you know, bigger, higher power output for whole house backup or whole house self-consumption. Exactly. So let, let's do a quick breakdown on the specs on the inverter. So sure. what, what's the most PV, PV input to the inverter? That's a great question. So we allow a 200% DC to AC ratio. Okay. So we can put 26 kilowatts of PV on this inverter, and then we can charge 13 kilowatts through the link, and we can charge an additional 13 kilowatts through a second link. So we allow four Nexus links per inverter. So again, to that flexibility, we can go from five kilowatt hours all the way up to 80 kilowatt hours per inverter. And then we allow three inverters in backup, which would be 240 kilowatt hours of capacity if you needed that much. Yeah, well, I don't know for who, how many <laughs> homeowners are gonna go that large, but I, I would definitely see, you know, a single inverter system if you want to wire for whole house backup, I, I'm probably going to recommend you put minimum four battery storage modules, you know, maybe go up to six battery storage yeah. modules if you, if you can, you know, put two more. Now you, you can do a second stack of battery modules to one inverter, correct? Yeah, you can do four, uh, you can do four links per inverter. So if the okay. inverter is located somewhere else, that would be four stacks. But if you have a stack like this one, then you can do three additional battery stacks. Okay. Yeah, great, great. So let's talk a little bit more about the inverter. So we put a lot of effort into the reliability and the robustness. This is a decorative cover, so I'm just gonna take this off for a second. The entire inverter is made out of aluminum. 
That allows us to cool the equipment much more effectively. It also gives you a really nice sense of strength and robustness when you pick up and hold the product. Additionally, from our component selection, we decided to go with high quality components that we never take above 80% of its capacity. So for example, if you had a thousand volt capacitor, we're never gonna take it above 800 volts. So we have a 20% safety factor on every single component inside this inverter. Excellent, excellent. Well, it sounds like you've, you've listened to feedback and where, where the market is right now, which is bigger, more, more reliable, um, higher capacity on the battery storage. I mean, this is totally different than what I saw from the previous generation home hub inverter and the home, home battery. Right. Also, it's customizable. So let's say you want to paint this decorative cover the same color as the house because you have an HOA that's hammering down on you. You can take off this decorative cover, paint it whatever color you want. You can put a customized logo on it. You can even say, oh, my favorite team is the Las Vegas Raiders because we're here in Las Vegas. Great, put a Raiders logo on it. Cool. Well, that actually touches on another issue I should ask about as far as install location. Is this just fully indoor and outdoor rated? It's indoor and outdoor rated. So we allow negative four degrees Fahrenheit all the way up to 131 degrees Fahrenheit. So you can install it in many locations, 3000 meters of altitude. So if you're in Colorado, the Rocky Mountains, you can install this product there. Additionally, we have uh, up to 12 inches of flood resistance. So if, if it's flooding outside, we can survive it. You can install it in direct sunlight, out of direct sunlight. I'm never gonna tell you to say, yes, put it in direct sunlight in the middle of the Arizona desert. I'm gonna say you probably should put it under a shade canopy at that point, but it is allowed to do that. Just a quick word from our sponsor, Figure. If you're considering financing the purchase of a solar or battery storage system for your home, then you need to take a look at the new Figure home equity line of credit. The Figure HELOC offers a lower fixed interest rate, no dealer fees, flexible payment terms, auto pay discount, and multiple draws if you need to expand your system in multiple phases. Loans are available up to $400,000 and interest may be tax deductible, saving you thousands compared to a traditional solar loan. So if you're serious about becoming energy independent and you want to avoid all the hidden fees and higher rates of solar loans, then check out the Figure HELOC. You can go directly to the Figure website or click the link in the description below Apply online in as little as five minutes and get funding in as few as five days. So have, have we moved to LFP chemistry now with the new Nexus system? Yeah, so the markets has spoken, we have listened. Everything is LFP chemistry now. And as, as far as serviceability goes, we really thought to ourselves, modular batteries have a flaw. What if this middle battery stops working? Well, the other two batteries continue to operate but I don't want to have to unstack the entire stack to get to this middle battery. So we made a service compartment. You can take this off, replace the BMS, and put this back in. So that way you don't have to take the battery out of the stack. You don't have to ship chemistry across the US. You can service this battery with uh, four screws. Great. Now, the inverter, can the inverter operate in a standalone mode or do you have to have some battery storage installed on day one? Yeah, you can do PV only with this exact same inverter, no problem. There's a wall mount bracket that allows you to just mount the inverter on the wall. We include conduit ports on the sides, bottom and back. Okay, now you mentioned earlier, Cameron, about the single skew concept. So this is like the full power inverter, right? You're not yeah. going to have like a three kilowatt, a five, a six, a 10. That's correct. It's, it's a 13 kilowatt continuous output. That's right. Okay, and that, that single skew, and then it's, it's optional whether you want to install storage on day one. That's right. Or you can install this as a PV only battery ready, battery ready system. That's right, and you can upgrade it with storage no matter what. Even if you want to take the inverter and leave it on the wall, you can have a stack of battery links and connect it to the uh, battery modules with a link and you can connect the link to the inverter if it's in a different location. Uh, additionally, I was gonna say, yes, single SKU, we have onboard PCS. So from the factory, it's got a PCS meter in it. We can do bus bar current management, zero export, no import, all the things. Also, we have, uh, during the commissioning process, we give you labels. So if you want this inverter to be a 7.6, and that's it, 
you put a label on the side when you commission the system that makes it a 7.6. Okay, but physically, physically it's capable of the full capacity. Yeah. Full, physically capable of the full capacity. So even a 7.6 programmed uh, in backup mode can still do 14.5 kilowatts, and then you can limit that to 7.6 if you wanted to. Yeah. Okay, neat. And now, that brings us, sorry, go ahead. <laughs> Well, I, I was going to say, you know, Solar Edge, of course, is most known for, probably most known for the, the DC power optimizers. Yeah. So this inverter here, does this, is this compatible with the current generation DC power optimizers, or has anything changed on that side? Yeah, it's all backwards compatible with most of our optimizers. I think the OP series from 15 years ago we're not compatible with, but anything made in the last 15 years, yes, we're compatible with. And of course, everything is now made in the U.S. for domestic content. Uh, inverters come out of Texas, batteries come out of Utah, and optimizers come out of Florida. Excellent, and that's available today. Dome available today. Domestic content compliant. All of our products today, not even this, is still made in America. Excellent, well that's a big issue. I would say that's probably one of the most popular topics we've heard about this week, yeah. is the idea of domestic content compliance and, and fiat compliance, yep. you know, because of the, the whole mix up with the tax credit. That's do, right. you, do, do you care to, to, to comment at all on you know, what SolarEdge's approach has been or how have you adjusted in light of the new sort of regulatory policy environment? Yeah, sure, so we have been well positioned ever since the Inflation Reduction Act. So over a year ago, we brought manufacturing to the US. So we started manufacturing a year and a half ago, optimizers in Florida, over a year ago, inverters in Texas. And we recently, in the last six months, brought batteries to Salt Lake City. So we have been well positioned for the change in tariffs and the change in the administration and rules and regulation. So we're all over it. Excellent, okay, so fully domestic content ready fully to go. Fully domestic content ready to go. Okay, now one addition I also noticed is the, the meter collar adapter. Yeah, the Nexus Islander. I'm gonna scoot over so I can show this to you. So Cameron, we're seeing a lot of installers favor this method of grid interconnection, doing it right here at the meter base. Can you explain for us, how does the Nexus Islander work? And uh, I guess, what's what, what can you share with us about it? Yeah, absolutely. So we partnered with Connector on this solution. So this is a, what we call the Solar Edge Nexus Islander. And what makes it a little bit different than the standard Islander that you get from Connector is we put a digital PCB in here. So it's just a Cat5 cable from the meter collar to our inverter, anything you can buy off the shelf, Cat5, Cat6, Ethernet cable. What makes this meter collar different than our competitors is there's no moving parts in this. So the heat sink, if you can catch these fins on the side, yeah. that's really great at dissipating heat. So there's a test, UL414, that we have to ramp up heat inside this enclosure. So that's about the size of a grapefruit, and we have to get it up to 200 amps to make sure that all the heat escapes. That heat test is very hard to pass, and how our competitors have solved it is with a fan. Fans are serviceable pieces of equipment. We did not want that. So Connector, to their credit, they designed a very beautiful, elegant system that doesn't require a fan. And when, when is this piece gonna be available as well? At launch with the Nexus solution. Great, great. So this provides us our MID, our microgrid interconnection device, and it gives us, they use Hall Effect sensors for uh, PCS, and that gives us PCS with our inverter as well. So Cameron, of course, million dollar question here. I know you probably can't give me a specific per unit price, but you know, compared to some of the other brands that are on the market, or maybe compared to the previous generation, Solar Edge Inverter Solution, where do you think Nexus is gonna land price-wise? So price is always competitive. You know, that's the standard line that we all have yeah. to say. I'm an engineer, <laughs> I'm not a salesperson, but I'll just give you some uh, kind of highlights. Because of the LFB chemistry, it's a lower cost chemistry than NMC is, so we hope to be a lot more competitive than we have been in the past. Okay. And in terms of availability, when do you think installers are going to be able to get their hands on this and offer this for new, new projects? Yeah, so Q1, end of Q1 is our target for general availability to the public. Okay. And are you selling through the same distribution partners that we would use for the previous generation? Yeah, Solar CED, Wesco, Baywa, all of our regular distributors that we use today. Great, great. Well, folks, this has been a first look at the new Solar Edge Nexus system. Uh, by the way, folks, this is the reason why we come to these conferences. We know all of you don't have the chance to maybe come out to Las Vegas and walk the floor here. 
with us, but we want to make sure that you stay up to date with all the latest solar technology and pricing information. There's so much innovation going on in the space right now. And although we've had a lot of uncertainty around policy this year, it seems like we have a kind of a clear way forward of what things are going to look like going into 2026. Uh, Cameron, is there anything else that you'd like to share with the audience uh, about Nexus or about SolarEdge's strategy for the U.S. in general? Yeah, one last thing I want to say is how easy it is to install. The most common question I get is, can I install it as quickly as a giant monolithic battery? And the short answer is yes, because of all the elegant design we have included into it. So 10 minutes install. Our next area of focus is the UI, how installers interact and commission the system, and we're gonna bring that down as far as we can. Great. Well, Cameron, thanks for taking time to thanks, chat Jeff. with our audience, showing us the new Nexus system. Uh, folks, that pretty much does it for today's video. Uh, but if you are getting good value from videos like this and you wanna see more videos like this, make sure you hit that thumbs up button. Uh, also, go ahead and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. That way, as we have new product announcements, it'll come up on your feed and you can stay up to date with everything. But that does it for today. I thank you all for spending some more time on the Solar Surge channel. And as always, I'm Joe Ordia here, encouraging you to get prepared and be empowered. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you on the next video.